to open us up with prayer today. Yes, sir. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we do thank and praise you for being so good and so just in our lives, Father. We thank you, Father, for the manifestation of healing that's in each and every last one of our bodies. We thank you for your promises because they are true. And Father, we thank and praise you, Father, for your son, Jesus Christ, who died that we may live, who suffered that we may be healed, who possessed everything that we can have everything. Father, you said that the cattle on a thousand hills belongs to, to, that you created all the cattle on a thousand hills and they belong to you, but you didn't create them for you. You created them for us. So, Father, we thank you today, Father, that the blessings of God pour upon us, run us over, flood the chaplaincies and every chaplain that's here, every president, every committee man, every steward, every EAP rep, everyone that's in the UAW, Father. Bless them and run them over, Father. Run them over right now, Father, in the authority of Jesus, Father. We thank and praise you that blessings come from above. We open up the windows of heaven, pour us out a blessing that we would not have room enough to receive it. And Father, we never fail to give you and you alone all of the honor, all of the glory, and all of the praise. We ask this in all things in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus, I pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Amen. Thank you, Brother Robert. David, um, could you do Article 41 today? Praise God. It's great to be able to read Article 41, Section 2, uh, in honor of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and the uh, anointing of the lead past leadership that put this into our Constitution. Article 41, Section 2 of the UAW Constitution it shall be the duty of each member chaplain to render aid and assistance to brother and sister members in cases of illness, death, or distress, and in every way acquit her himself as a loyal and devoted member of the International Union. Amen. 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 Uh, Jerry Carson, I don't see Bill at the moment. Jerry yeah. Carson, good morning. Good morning, Elder. Good morning, chaplains. I'll bring you greetings from President Ray Curry and Vice President Director Chuck Browning and the entire International Executive Board. We want to thank you for all you do in your place of work, in our union, in the community, and with and for your families, being a salt and a light, meeting people where they are, sharing the good news, giving them hope, and letting them know that they are loved. They are loved beyond measure by a true and living God. I'm I'm excited about today. Uh, this is uh, today's title for today is solidarity forever, and that's that's very true, because one one day every knee will bow and every tongue will confess, and it'll be uh, solidarity forever. And God has placed this union together and chaplaincy in our union, so that we can build on that, and and God is our foundation. I'm going to turn it back over to Elder, but love you chaplains, and, and no matter what we're going through, we know that the key is, is he brings us through it, and while we're going through the things that we're dealing with, I know they, they hurt, they cause a lot of pain, but he is so faithful, so faithful, and in, in, in all things work for the for those that love the Lord and called according to their to his will. I'm going to turn over you, Elder. Love you, chaplains. Thank you, Brother Jerry. Walk the root of prayer is a prayer that uh, we are asking all of the chaplains to uh, discover it. Um, I can send it out uh, on email. We want all of you guys to have a copy of it, just like Article 41, Section 2. We discovered and uh, it became our foundation. Uh, we want this prayer to be a prayer of, of solidarity. We want whenever the chaplain have a uh, um, appointment inside the UAW, uh, I would never deny anybody the right to pray in Jesus' name. Um, but my Jesus is so uh, enhanced on enlarging his kingdom 
he's not willing that nobody perish. And when you look at the magnitude, the 600 million retirees, the 500,000 active workers, when you examine what God has given us, you will understand that the hallelujahs, the tongues, and so and so is what you do. And we ask that if you don't think you can man an assignment without getting carried away, um, we would ask that you stand down and allow somebody who can tote the road. This is Walter Ruther prayer. Father of all men, give us the wisdom to know what is right and the strength to do what is right. Unite all people, all people, in the solidarity of human brotherhood and enrich them with the splendor of human diversity. Light the way so truth may guide us and we may find our way through dangers and difficulties of hatred, misunderstanding, and war. Solidarity forever. Amen. Amen and amen. Amen. If our Lord and Savior, if he's not willing, then nobody perish. Let me use this. If he bring us 12 eggs, when our assignment is over with, we want to take back the 12 eggs. We don't want to break any of them. We don't want to lose any of them. We want to maintain his spirit. And this prayer is spirit. All of my prayers and the freedom that the UAW has given us on this web X. We have not asked anybody to pray other than the way your Lord and Savior tell you to pray. Every time I pray, I end it in my church as in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. That's what we do on this well, Beth, which is what I encourage you to do. But I remember this one Black Lake Conference. We had a brother named Yusef. He came to the conference and we covered him with love. And he allowed us to pray the way we pray. And he prayed to his God. And he asked permission that he would stand back a lot of time. I forget Brother Robert, Brother Marshall. He called it like Ramadan. Somebody help me with that pronunciation. Yeah, Ramadan. You it right. You found fa fasting. Yes, he said, uh, Jerry, Elder Taylor, I can't take my meal right now because this is my religious. We honored that. And we would wrap his meal up, Sister Cynthia. Because at that time, he was in his prayer closet. But, but we had, I call him religious spirit, say to me, I thought you can't have no food in your room. They wrapping up food and taking it to his room. I said to myself, self, when you ain't got nothing to say, don't say nothing. 
I had nothing to say. But we got to understand that we represent people of all faith. And sometimes we just got to got to do what we are instructed to do. So um I want to I want to read this then Jerry we're going to move on. This is what we had to do inside the UAW. It was like a basketball team. Before you played the game, you had to go and practice. So the UAW PR department got with Jerry Carson, told Jerry Carson, we need your three chaplains here Sunday evenings to practice the prayer that we had already written out and sent to them, and we had discussed our strategy. So when we went to practice, they were shocked that we had practiced before the practice. I don't hear nobody. We three and Jerry and Bill got together, Cynthia. This is what I wrote. We thank you for endowing us with the talents, the skills, and the opportunity to earn everything we need, plus something to share with those who are less fortunate than we are. It is our duty to bring the aid and assistance to our brothers and sister members in cases of illness, death, and distress. This is our foundation of the UAW chaplaincy program that is found in our very own Constitution, Article 41, Section 2. We will continue to seek through prayer and meditation to improve our conscious contact with God, praying only for the knowledge of his will and the power to carry it out. Solidarity forever. Amen. 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 That was the outline of the prayer that they got. They were so impressed with it. Um, they asked the question, well, we got Monday and we got Tuesday, and we got Wednesday, but Elder, you doing Monday and Thursday, where is Thursday? I drew a line. I said, well, I haven't got anything for Thursday because Thursday has not arrived, so y'all just gonna have to trust me on Thursday to come as I am. They had no problem with that because we gave them what they asked for, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and they began to trust chaplaincy, not Elder Taylor. Jerry Carson has also told them, well, don't worry about it because Elder going to be all right. We assured them that we would follow their instruction. I said that because I am going to send out the root of prayer, I'm not asking you to pray it uh, if you don't feel as though your God is saying not to. We just ask that you tell us so you won't be put up. It Brother helped. Jerry. I just, you know, Elder. God brought elder to us, brought each one of you for all of us for 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 kingdom building. And you hear him use uh, quoting the scripture and, and he quotes the one he quotes uh, periodically is to he who wins souls must be wise. 
and and then about leaving the 99 and and wishes no one to pair god is his his and and what elder is you got to know your audience and you know my angel says people are going to forget what we say and and that's one thing i always look at about the lot of words but they ain't saying a whole lot because God, I mean, God's honoring whenever we're honoring him. He's blessing us, right? So it's him, just like you mentioned Elijah. It wasn't Elijah that did it. It was God that did it, but he honored it. And that's what Elder's telling you right now. Know your audience. And then I'm going to end with this. Love is patient. Love is kind. Is not jealous. Love does not brag and is not arrogant does not act unbecomingly it does not seek its own is not provoked does not take into account a wrong suffered does not rejoice in unrighteousness but rejoices with the truth bears all things believes all things hopes all things endures all things and love never fails and that's what elders telling you just god is we serve an awesome god we don't have to be legalistic. We got to love people. Most importantly is love God and then love one another. I turn back over to you, Elder. Hey, man, I believe God. I'm going to say it again. I believe God. And when uh, the professor that we met Wednesday, when she called the chaplaincy, Jerry Carson, and see, she says, Brother Jerry, uh, can you have Elder come to Harvard Univers University and pray to the graduates under the UAW chaplaincy banner? I'm going to put on that cap and gown that they gave me. I'm going to light them up. All of those professor and college graduate, I'm going to plant a seed that they're going to receive and understand why they receiving it. I'm going to tell Brother Renford, when Brother Renford say, Elder, you were right. Two years ago, you said, they told you, you would never go to Palm Springs. But look at the chaplain, they was going to Palm Springs. You told me that you're going to get us to Puerto Rico. I'm going to go with Renford to Puerto Rico. You told because Sandra. Gonna... You, you told Sandra Watkins that she'd have 100 people in the choir. There we go. Is there anything too hard for God? I just want to let you know we are always in teaching moments. We are always enhancing this chaplaincy program inside, inside where the 600 million retirees lies, inside where the 500,000 active workers we are reaching out and planting seeds because Cynthia can plant, Geneva can water, but y'all know now it's only God that can give the increase. And when he give us an increase like the professor, Man, I'm excited to know that God is on our side. And I got my little granddaughter, Cash. She can't wait to come over to the house. She usually run to pick up her tablet. But now she's running and she's saying, Poppy, Poppy, let's sing that song. Whose side are you leaning on? I'm leaning on the Lord. Oh, she got it. She got it. That's the side we're leaning on. Hey, look, let me hear from Randall. We're going to turn it over to Marshall for a roll call. This is Solidarity 
Randall, before you come on, let me read this. When the union inspiration through the workers' blood shall run, there can be no power greater anywhere beneath the sun. Yet what force on earth is weaker than the feeble strength of one? But the union makes us strong. That's the first verse in solidarity forever. Brother Randall, come on with the announcement. Yes, sir. God bless you, Elder. Um, before I get into the announcement, um, I want to piggyback. Uh, I saw that uh, Brother Carson jumped in, so I want to jump in. Uh, I, I recall it was several years ago. Uh, I was sitting on the drums, and uh, and uh, you and I crossed paths, and you said, God told me you're more than a drummer. And I had just been quiet. I just sat up there, got on the drums uh, on both services uh, um, in Black Lake, and I didn't say much. Nobody really knew uh, much about me. No one knew that I was I had graduated from Bible college. No one knew that uh, I was a life minister. I didn't say nothing, but God always knows. And, I, and I'll never forget that. And you said, you're more than a drummer. God showed me, and he's going to use you. And and several years later, now I'm the coordinator of Region 4. But 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 uh, it's so important that we uh, plug into our leadership, and we have a leadership that's plugged into God. Uh, that is so important that uh, – that, that we have leadership that, that's in touch with God and has an ear to listen uh, to what God has to say. Um, but uh, real quick, real quick, I just want to say that um, I, I'm so looking forward to uh, Region 4 uh, Chaplaincy Conference coming up August 28th through September 1st. Uh, I'm looking for great and mighty things to happen. I'm looking for a lot of uh, education. Um, I've been planning this uh practically all year, and uh, I, I know that you are going to receive and get something out of it. Uh, I know the International is the, the, the main conference, but I'm here to tell you, Region 4 is second in line. Um, we, we are uh, we're going to do it big and strong. As we know, we, we are the only region that have our own hotel, our, have our own training center, have our our own clubhouse uh, with great cooks. And uh, one of my favorite things that we have is our own ice cream machine. Uh, I'm going to have to uh, go on my liquid diet, uh, 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 probably starting on Monday, um, leading up to that, because uh, I'm, I hit that ice cream machine uh, all day long. And, and it's open. <laughs> and I take care of it. <laughs> but but I, I just want to say that um, we, we we hoping that you can get in, get registered. Uh, the uh, spaces are filling up. And um, it's August 28th through September 1st. Uh, it's going to be a great and mighty time. Thank you, Elder. Thank you. Brother Jerry, you want to chime in with anything? Oh, it's, um, I am just excited that the you know, you spoke, you, you, you do speak prophecy. God has, you do have that gift and, and you spoke it into Randall. And, and I can tell you whenever Randall would come to the, to our national conference, he would just, he, he was always wanting to help with, with the praise and he'd be playing them drums and that's what he did. And now God, you know, that's powerful what he did there. Cause that, that blessed God and blessed the chaplains with, with his gifts. That's what he, he did. And uh, God has lifted them up. And yeah, I'm looking forward to any time chaplains get together in person. We're blessed to have the WebEx, but it takes it to another level whenever we have a chance to be in each other's physical presence. And uh, so I'm excited and I'm looking forward and Region 4 will do well. But here's one thing all of the regions it takes us all there's many parts in one body and we are so blessed to have chaplains that love our union and love god and our kingdom builders that are they ain't selfish they're serving god and i'm thankful for that elder and yeah it's it's a beautiful thing and i'm gonna turn it back over to you elder 
Okay, we're going to get the roll call, but I want to just add this. It is so important that each regional coordinator make sure they have their own chaplaincy regional conference. Every region have what we call leadership conference where all of the standing committees assembled together. All of them. We cannot afford to miss out on that leadership conference. We can't settle on uh, being by ourselves for certification. We can't settle for that. Because the only way we are going to truly find God's Joshua is to be assembled together with other standing committees. God will bring the fish to us if we make ourselves available. Call today your region. That's why we give you a little bit of um, taste and see in October when we have our regional wellness. To just give you a little taste to remind you, man. They are inside your region. Elder Taylor, Jerry Carson, Bill Eady, we are here to assist. I will never, ever forget Carl Clark and I sitting up, can't sleep, three, four o'clock in the morning. And we said, we got to tell them the truth. The only way you're going to build chaplaincy is through your region. That's the only way we can sharpen it at the national conference. But if the coordinators do what they um, volunteer, they would have to volunteer to do this. They're not going to get paid. Brother Robert not going to get paid. Sister Connie not going to get paid. David Watson not going to get paid. Randall Willis not going to get paid. Joe Tate not going to get paid. Renita Chapman is not going to get paid. Renford Rhines not going to get paid. But they will be blessed, like Renford discovering the professor. Brother Robert. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm sorry to correct you, Elder, especially on his webbacks. You okay? My God pays very well. <laughs> Brother Robert is the author. Some of the things he have gone through. He had pressed toward the mark. I'm not going to get into that, but I, I can receive that correction, Brother Robert. So uh, I just want to say that I'm going to be saying it often. And if you're, now check this out. If I'm in a region and I don't know nothing about my regional uh, conference, whether it's the leadership conference or chaplaincy on his own, I would call my chaplaincy coordinator and say, what's up, sister? What's up, brother? When, when, when are we going to go to this leadership conference? Because I got a fish to clean. Okay, Brother Marshall, can you do a roll call for us, please? All right.
right, before we get started, Brother Bill Eady, are you with us at this point? No, he's not. He's not on, Marshall. Okay, thank you. All right, with that being said, we will begin the roll call. Of, but of course, if Brother Bill uh, comes on, just like Moses, guy using to part the waters, we're going to part the roll call so that he can come forth on the dry land, okay? I don't um, believe he's coming on, region Marshall. by region. All right, then. We'll we'll hold a staff then, okay? <laughs> well, we'll be going region by region. And when you hear your region calling, if by chance you're a first-time caller or if by chance you don't know what region you're in, we will gladly, gladly, gladly help you. We have the resources to do so. It's all in the house. And so when you hear your region call, please say your name first and last and whom you're employed with and if you're active or retiree. And, of course, if you're a retiree, whom you work with. Region one, roll call. Geneva you... Murph, local 61, <laughs> retiree FCA. I thought Robert was going first. <laughs> okay. I know y'all always yield to me, but thank you. Thank you, sis. <laughs> Angie Green, local 1796, Wayne County Community College District. Chaplain Ian Gitas, Local 212, Active, FCA. Robert Goldston, Jr., Local 653, General Motors, Proven Grounds, Active. Is there anyone else? Region 1. Region 1A, Region 1A, roll call. Sheila Stribling, local 6000, state of Michigan, retiree. Shirley Davenport, local 163, Daimler, active. Glory to God. Douglas Willard, local 898, Ford Motor Company, retiree. Hallelujah. <laughs> County Bobbitt, Local 163, Daimler, retired. Region 1A. Region 1D. Region 1D. Eugene Murchison, Local 602, GM, active. Region 1D, Region 2B, Region 2B. Patricia Andrews, Local 1219, the Lima Engine Plant, I am active. Adam Goodrich, Local 6.7, uh, GE, active. Deborah Young, Local 12, St. Vincent Mercy Hospital, active. Christy Vargas, Local 12, Delantis, Jeep Toledo, active. Region 2B. Region 4, Region 4. Kim Collier, Local 1268, FCA, active. Randall Willis, Local 588, Ford Motor Company, active. Sandra Watkins, Local 110, FCA, retiree. Gwen Ford, Local 249, Ford Motor Company, active. Sherry Gillis Clark, Local 31, General Motors, Fairfax, Kansas, and I am active. Eric 
April McCullough, Ford Motor Company, Local 551, Chicago Assembly. I am active. David Grimaud, Local 2096, Pontiac, Illinois, Caterpillar, retiree. Ken Thomas, would you like to speak up? Can't hear you. All right, we got you. That's Ken Thomas out of Region 4, local. 551 Chicago Assembly. He's active and he's also a board member. Anything else did I miss? All right. Very good. And this is Marshall Watkins Jr., Local 2250, General Motors, Wentzville, Secretary Treasurer. Anyone else from Region 4? Region 8. Region 8. Uh, brother uh, Marshall. Yes, um, so this is Terry again. Um, out of Region Four, Anthony Walker, EAP rep, is also on the WebEx. Thank Local you very 31. much. Yes, Thank you, Sister Sherry. Thank you. My pleasure. Oh. <laughs> At you, brother Anthony. Will there be anyone else from Region Four? And by chance, if you tuned in, we will come back around after the completion of all regions to get those we missed. Region 8, Region 8. Cynthia Harris, Local 218 Bell Helicopter, International Staff. Candace McCord, Local 1853, Magnus Feeding, Active. Region 8, anyone else? Region 9, Region 9. Region 9. Chaplain Craig Davis, Region 9, Local 686, oh God, General name. Motors. Oh dear God, we thank you. Active. Got you, Brother Craig. Brother yes, Craig sir. is awesome. Also, Brother Craig is also EAP as well. Yes, sir. Region, Region 9A. Region 9A. Was there anyone we missed that you didn't have opportunity to identify yourself for roll call? Lisa Dukes, Local 245, Ford Motor Company, active. Will there be anyone else? All right, Elder, that is the completion of the roll call for this day, August the 5th, Friday, 2022. Uh, okay, thank you, Marge. Um, Brother Eon, how you doing? Not bad, sir. Where you, you been, man? Where you been? You think you can just drop off and we don't miss you? Well, when you have almost 30 years with a company, you get over five weeks plus personal time vacation and school <laughs> because I have children is between June, July and August. So I'll be gone next week also. <laughs> <laughs> also, you know, having a travel trailer, a fifth wheel, you got to start using the vacation time in July and August because if not, that is beautiful. That's a blessing. Thank you. That's a, ble that's a Thank blessing. Thank you for noticing me. I, I appreciate it. I noticing you because we are in a um, teaching mall. Amen. And I know you have, um, you speak several languages. Yes, sir. So could you offer a prayer with a language other than 
English right yes, now. Sir. Yes, sir. This will be done in Latin, which is a, a variant of Spanish and French, which is Romanian, which is a similar language. Uh, our Father, we come before you this afternoon, and I thank you for this opportunity oh, to be with my brothers and sisters. And now I will switch to English to Romanian. Our Tatăl nostru care și în cerul, venim înainte te-am după masa aceasta. Îți mulțumim, Doamne, pentru privilegiul acesta to, uh, să fim împreună cu frați și surori, Doamne, să te glorificăm pe tine, să te, să-ți dăm slavă cinste uh, din cauza că Tu ești Tatăl uh, tot puternic, Doamne. Încredințăm în, în, la Tine tot ce s-a întâmplat acum, Doamne. Binecuvântează pe cei mai în vârstă, pe cei tine, Doamne. Protejează pe muncitorii în factorie, Doamne. Ai grijă de ei, Doamne, și... Fărește-ne, Doamne, de tot ce este pericol în, în timpul orelor, Doamne. De aceea, Doamne, cerem protecția Ta și o crotirea Ta pentru toți muncitorii. Veci, veci, amin. Amen. Amen. Hai. Amen. Amen. Also, I wish uh, above all that you prosper Thank you. and be in good health. Yes, sir. Enjoy your time. Thank you. Uh, With your permission, uh, we would like to, uh, we own YouTube. Yes. With your permission, Jerry, I would like for you to pin this as solidarity forever and then a prayer in Romania. Is that it? Yes, sir. We going fishing. Amen. We, we reaching out to the masses. Amen. I don't care about it. Amen. Amen. Praise God. This, this man just can't disappear and then reappear, and God don't notice it. Hey, Elder. Amen. Yes, sir. I, I'll share this with the chaplains. E1, on a regular cadence, he sends me uh, uplifting, encouraging uh, Texas. And I hit and the iron sharpens iron and uh and just so E1 knows you you are so precious to chaplains. See, each one of you are, but you are not missed. You it, yeah. whenever you're with us, we know you're with us. And then the other part is whenever you're God has you busy out in the field, you're still with us. It's many mm -hmm. parts yeah. of one body. Amen. We love you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for the prayers. Yeah. Send Elder me Herb, one too. Say, yes, Elder sir. Herb, this is Cynthia. Yes, ma'am. Can I say a word? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, Elder Herb, I'm so glad that you uh, spoke up when El uh, Brother Eon, because I've been missing him also, and I miss a lot of faces that, are, that I no longer see, but I just want to uh, speak blessings into Brother Eon's life because at the chaplaincy conference, He blessed me with his gift of music. So I was there in the lecture hall and he shared his testimony with me also of his life. And so I thank him for that. And so you have been missed. And I also want to say hello to Sister Candace McCord. I always hear her on here. I don't see her, but I met her there. And just to say, Sister, just be encouraged. I love you and I miss you. And thank you all for giving me the space to speak. Amen. Amen. Solidarity. Amen. Solidarity forever. Solidarity forever. And um, as Jerry said, uh, you are in constant communication, uplifting him with inspirational uh, messages. And um, what uh, I'm going to do is starting uh, next week, once we come out of prayer, we are asking the God, we are asking God um, to have uh, someone once a week be responsible for putting on the chaplaincy uh, Facebook page an inspiration encouraging quote and i just said i was asking god and, and he replied quickly 
with this, if Eon can send them to Jerry, he can be the first one to send them to our chaplaincy page. Uh, I know Robert Gosen can make that happen. And it's in order. It's in order because I think Eon is from Region 9, aren't you? No, Region 1. Region 1. I, I just, I was just testing. With you. <laughs> <laughs> he gonna make me speak up. <laughs> you, you see, you see, brother Robert. He claimed it right away. No, he did you one. <laughs> I was quiet, elder, elder. I was quiet, but E one sends it to me also. So Jerry is not the only one that receives them. He sends it to Geneva too. <laughs> okay. If he has your contact, he's sending it to everybody. That's his. That's his mission. That's just his mission. That's how he is. Well, I, Elder Robert is not going to let go of his sheep. Robert keeps track of us, and he loves us. God bless, brother Robert. But is there? Uh, I know when I go, go to our Facebook page, I see this picture of Ken Thomas and myself. Uh, Robert, can you make that happen? Since you getting them, make sure Eon get them to us. Because our Facebook page is growing. We have close to 800 contacts now. And I'm all about enhancing God's kingdom. At this moment in my life, Hallelujah. he has me housed inside the UAW. But I just had a a uh, little meeting with the people at the mission and they are requiring by asking can I do more and to much that is given much, much is, is required. required we are beginning to fill the house people are beginning to come off under the bridges and look for shelter and they know that my heart is for the people yesterday i was hungry and i stopped by this little gas station i only stopped by to use the restroom really but inside i saw this uh fresh chicken I'm not supposed to be eating fried food. I don't mind telling on myself. Um, my wife would hear this because it's on the uh, YouTube, but I'm telling on myself. And I got uh, six pieces of uh, the little chicken wings and you know the bag is greasy and man, it's smelling good. I had to drop my daughter a package by the house, and when I got back in the car, why don't you give this? Go your regular route. You're going to see this same person on the corner. You bought this lunch. And as I'm driving close to this corner, now that's a debate between me and the spirit right now, because I believe I can bless this food and eat six of these wings and be okay, but when I put up, I've always said, I know it's God. When I pull up to the corner and I'm the first one there, I was the first one there. So I rolled the window down grudgingly, Took it down slow while I'm still wrestling. But the spirit of the Lord won. And I'm glad that he did. Because this young man said something to me. Thank you, brother. I needed that. I didn't give him no money. Praise God. I gave him a meal. Praise God. Good seed song. Yes. Yes. Now, the battle ain't mine. It's the Lord. But uh, 
That fried chicken sure look good. I'm going to make sure I don't go nowhere near this this place because I don't want to be tempted. I don't hear nobody. Amen, don't get, amen. Y'all don't get tempted. Y'all are so super <laughs> spiritual and religious <laughs> that there is no contemptation coming <laughs> to man that God don't make a way for y'all to escape. escape. Yeah. But I have to wrestle and realize that I'm wrestling yeah. not against yep. flesh and blood. I'm right. wrestling against some principality in some high places, yeah. and they are worthy adversary. If I yeah. drop my, I don't hear nobody. Amen. Oh Amen. Lord Jesus was Amen. 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 What, what, you said, Amen. what was that? Our Amen. Lord Jesus was tempted. He was a man. Yep. Thank yes, you. Ah, <laughs> yes. And that's the pork for next time. <laughs> Might be yeah. some other pork chops next time. <laughs> oh, my God. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying, man? Some other pork chop at nowhere in the neighborhood, but all of a sudden, some pork chop now is in the neighborhood, but I'd be okay because you have prepared me. You know, now I put up the, uh, the uh, scripture, there is no temptation that is common to man that God hasn't already made a way for us to escape. If we do Amen. wrong, Amen. If we do wrong, if we sin, it's not because we have we don't have an out. God is good to us. Uh, that scripture, my God shall supply all of my needs according to his riches and glory. All of his needs sometimes mean providing a way to escape. And I thank God for that. So, Brother Jerry, Amen. Uh, Amen. final words before we turn it over to Sister Sandra. Oh, it's been a, I'm just so thankful to God for bringing us together and having, having leadership over us in, in under the umbrella of the UAW that allows us to love on them and encourage the membership and just made so many different ways for us to reach out to the membership and let them know about chaplaincy and the harvest is much and the labors are few. I mean, God has you, it, it, he brought us the chaplaincy jackets, the posters, the 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 conferences, the the regional, each one of the chat. I mean, it wow, it just blows me away at his goodness. And uh just like now, I'm encouraged. I'm encouraged with us being together. Iron sharpening iron. How beautiful. And you know, whenever you were speaking, I think you said six hundred million. I'm claiming that because the UAW is important to the world and this is going out to YouTube and on UAW.org and it's going to hit its mark just, just like the, the uh, chaplain that came to us out of 9A, Amula, uh, the, the graduate from Harvard. That wasn't by chance. That's God's providence. I mean, he is just blessing us to serve him. And I'm in agreement with you, Elder, and the chaplains, that we are the Levites. God set us aside for kingdom building. That's what each one of you are, are kingdom builders. And, and they see Christ in us. And that's what they're responding to. I'll turn it back over to the Elder, and then Sandra is going to bring us all, uh, her, share her gift with us and encourage us. And, but I'm going to turn it back over to the Elder. Love you, chaplains. Love you too, Jerry. I said 600 million because I was reading the scripture where he fed the uh, uh, 5,000. Uh, when we say 600,000 and 400,000, we don't include the families. We say That's members. True. But if we add up every member family, I got 
seven kids myself. When we look at the total scope, we probably can get to 600 million. Amen. Each, this UAW has been a blessing to families, to our grandchildren, and today I'm um, um, in a memorial and celebrating my granddaughter who was uh, killed on this day. She was shot by a bullet. I call it like it is. And um, she was the granddaughter that uh, we had a family outing and me and my brother, we were at it. I was breaking down the law and he came at me with a drink in his hand and he threw it at me and this granddaughter shielded me from that cup. She was my favorite ever since that particular time. And she said, granddad, I just knew he was throwing at you, but you didn't see it. But I saw it. That's Ayala. So be in prayer for Yeah, she is an angel. She's uh, rejoicing. Sister Sandra, um, prayers have been given. If you can close us out today with amazing grace. And everybody have a blessed weekend. Make sure you love on your children. And you say you love to somebody. Say I love somebody today. Sister Sandra. Love you all. Amazing grace. How sweet is the sound that saved a wretch like me. I was, was lost, I'm found was blind, but now I, I see. <clears throat> Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Yes. Yes. Praise God. Yeah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. God. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.